about getting started fast with the UI kits, which is Agora's low code video calling solution. I'm Max, uh, I'm an advocate at Agora. I've been at Agora for a couple of years with a history in software engineering over the last uh, eight, nine years. Wow, okay. <laughs> um, I, I specialize in building like low code solutions and open source um, software uh, at Agora and also as a, as a hobby. Uh, very opinionated when it comes to iOS and Swift, um, which is sort of what I like to do the most. Uh, I like to create things in AR and VR, and I live in London. If you scan the QR code at the bottom there, you can find out about me if you need and um, contact me if you really want. And yeah. And so what we're going to talk about is the low code solutions, but we're going to start with where people are right now when they are building with the RTC SDK. So pretty much all the developers that come to use uh, Agora's RTC SDK do the same foundation when they're building the software. They have to grab all the different device permissions, which on iOS can be quite challenging. If you do it a bit wrong, it will crash your app. Um, so it can be quite tedious. Uh, integrating the SDK is pretty straightforward at this point. Uh, after that, you have to generate tokens uh for joining a channel for doing all kinds of things uh you have to do very similar logic for joining and leaving channels uh, checking if people have muted their microphone or unmuted their microphones or even uh using dual stream which is for fetching lower bitrate video if you need to uh fetch lots and lots of videos and someone's video is very small which reduces your costs with agora uh most video call solutions look uh, you know, more than 50% the same, right? You're going to display the videos in probably a square or a rectangle. You're going to maybe highlight one person as the main speaker, or you'll have everyone at a similar level in sort of a grid view. If you're in a main speaker thing, you might want to click on people uh, to put them as the main speaker. You're going to need to control your camera, control your microphone, maybe flip your camera to the other side of the phone or the other device share your screen, um, and possibly even something more advanced, like controlling uh, the remote users, say, hey, this guy's sitting in the coffee shop and uh, I can hear everything in the background, I need him to mute. Uh, these are sort of the basic things you might want to do in your video call solution. And that's gonna add a few hundred lines of code to get something that you know, handles a lot of edge cases. And we don't want people to repeat themselves uh, people normally don't repeat themselves individually, but a lot of people using Agora all repeat the same stuff. So we wanted to try and uh, eliminate that and help people get started faster. So what we've made is the video UI kits. Now, what, what are these? They handle all the things that I mentioned before. Um, if I were to list them off, it would probably take the rest of the 15 minutes that, that I've got today. But you know, it, it's everything like creating the uh, RTC engine, connecting to a channel, the permission handlers mentioned before, uh, publishing your own camera feed, subscribing to higher and lower bit rates, fetching tokens, you know, all that stuff, you name it. Uh, these video UI kits are available in web, iOS, Android, macOS, as well as uh, cross-platform solutions like React Native and Flutter. Um, they're all published to GitHub, it's all open source. We publish pretty much everything on there because we believe that uh, it's it's ready for open source. You know, we feel like uh, what we've put there is okay to be scrutinized by people. Uh, but we also want people to see how we're doing it. We want people to see how they're using the Agora RTC SDK. Um, if they don't want to use the UI kits, that's fine. But all the stuff is there to say how to use the core engine. Um, so yeah, for the actual implementation, this is what it might look like. You know, there's only really two things here, creating this Agora video viewer and joining the channel. Within that a video viewer, you're passing in your credentials such as the app ID and token. This is a very basic example. It won't fetch the token for you. Um, there's lots of examples on that across the GitHub, but essentially how that works is you pass in a URL and then you say, fetch the token for me it'll do that um all you'd need to do beyond this is tell your app 
where you want this view to be, whether you want it to be uh, full screen or within a smaller part of your screen. And that's pretty much it for the iOS portion. Uh, this is what you're going to get something that looks like on the right there. You've got your main speaker there and other speakers across the top. You can control your camera, your microphone, and yeah, flip your camera as well. Um, that's pretty much it for that. It's all very, very customizable as well. Um, but we'll get into that a little bit uh, later. So this is a more of a state environment example. So the last one is a regular iOS, which is a bit more like create an object, put it here. Uh, with React Native, you kind of create states to say, this is now visible on my screen, this is not. So here's just an example of that. Um, follows the same sort of formula. You know, you get your connection data with your credentials or the channel you want to join. And uh, near the bottom there, where it says return video call, question mark, it's checking the state. You return your Agora UI kit with your connection data and all the rest of it there. That's uh, all there is to it uh, with that. So these um, video UI kits are fully flexible. One thing that the developers love about our RTC SDK is that you can do anything you want with it because all it really is is listening for those connections and displaying the video feeds, right? Um, so using these UI kits, we make them very, very flexible so that we're not telling you this is what your UI should look like, but it's more about here's a really, really basic UI to get started. You can remove any part of it. You can turn things on and off uh, the whole time. And using that, you can, for example, use the extensions marketplace, which is uh, coming up in a talk straight after this with Brad. So sure, sure to check that one out. Um, but using extensions marketplace, you can add your voice changes, you can add your face filters. And if you're using something like the UI kit, you don't have to compromise on being able to access any of the things available with the RTC engine. And if you did have to compromise on those, then we're doing it wrong. We need to change it. So uh, we're, we're trying not to, and uh, I don't think we are. So yeah, that's the solution there. You're always using the latest SDK uh, that's available from Agora because we keep these all up to date. And if there's a big change with the SDK, you won't really need to change maybe anything with the video UI kit because that interface stays the same. Where well, everything that happens under the hood could change, but we don't want developers to have to uh, read migration guides every time there's a uh, there's an update because we do a lot of updates here at Agora because we want to give you the best every time and give you all the latest updates uh, rather than waiting long periods of time. So you can get that through the video UI kit. There's also full examples uh, across uh, the developer blogs, uh, YouTube videos, uh, as well as within the documentation for all the different UI kits. These examples include things like using cloud recording, background segmentation, even creating Swift UI applications, which, as I mentioned, I'm a bit of an iOS guy, so a lot of those are very popular with uh, iOS, uh, the iOS ecosystem. So, mentioned you know these are all on github uh as well as the, the official docs the github repos are a very good resource for getting stuck into the code uh you can leaf through the code uh we believe that the code is at a good enough standard that we want people to see it um and yeah you can jump right in there and have a look at how we're doing all those different things and if you have any critiques uh throw them at us because we can take it and we think that we're doing uh sort of best in class for integrating uh, the RTC SDK. There's plenty of GitHub actions uh, that we're running against the UI kits to make sure that they're passing all our tests. We're automatically deploying the um, documentation, which we'll see on the next slide, uh, automatically pushing releases to CocoaPods uh, for iOS, pub.dev for uh, Flutter, etc. Here's some of the API references that we've got for the uh, video UI kits. Uh, this is the iOS one. I keep mentioning iOS. That's uh, that's the thing I like, so I end up talking about it a lot. My colleagues uh, will know that. Uh, so yeah, here you go for the uh, Agora UI kit uh, documentation. You can see all the different classes, all the different methods uh, involved in those. 
fully documented so that you don't really have any questions uh, on how to use it because um, we want the developers to be extremely self-sufficient. If we're not providing enough details, then we're doing something wrong. Uh, that's how we approach it. So, so that's pretty much everything when it comes to UI kids. Um, as I mentioned, we keep it very, very short the UI kids. If you have to spend more than, uh, more than 10 minutes, more than 15 minutes uh, using UI kits to um, get everything going, then that's not good. We don't want developers to be spending a long time integrating our SDK. We want people to be using it as soon as possible. You can check out the link at the top there uh, to see our GitHub wiki page about the video UI kits. Um, and again, contact me uh, if you want. And yeah, be sure to check out Brad's uh, presentation next about the extensions marketplace. They're doing some pretty cool things with some uh, companies such as Bose, such as um, uh, Banuba for face filters, voice mod, a lot of really cool things in the pipeline there. So thanks for coming and enjoy the rest of RTE 2022.